Okay, folks, hi there, this is Kim Willis. Once again, I'm recording this from my little hidey hole in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It's part of my Asian Odyssey year. I've been traveling to different Asian countries and uh, having fun. Um, so I'm in this little apartment and it's uh, very comfortable and it's uh, more than enough for us. Okay, now I want to talk to you about a topic that sometimes bothers people who are in the make money niche, network marketing, affiliate marketing and so on. How do you handle negative reviews? So the reality is no matter how good the company is, no matter how good their product might be, once they get to a certain size, once they become somewhat successful, they are going to get some negative reviews. Some people are going to call them scans, some people are going to call them just, you know, every cursing name under the sun. And of course, particularly newbie marketers, this does bother them uh, when they start hearing these sorts of negative comments that are made. Of course, when you've been around for a time, such as I have, I've been marketing online since 2006, I think I've seen it all. I think I've seen it all. And, what, and I've come to some realizations. And one of the realizations is that I, there are some crazy people online. That's one of the realizations. It doesn't mean to say that everybody who says something negative is crazy. But there are some, some strange individuals online. Um, some of these individuals, you could actually meet them face to face and, and they're perfectly nice, but they have a dark side to their personality that they keep well hidden in face to face uh, interactions, but put them online, hide them behind a computer and these, the negative aspect of their personality sort of comes to the fore. Um, there are other people who have failed uh, in various money making programs. Sometimes it's because the money making program itself was rubbish but other times it was not rubbish it was a good program and I've seen them I've made money from programs that I've judged to be good yet every week people fail at the same program for whatever reason now most people accept the fact that if they didn't make money that as long as they gave it a good good try um, you know, their conscience is clear. Other people don't even give it a good try. They just walk away. They, they, they spend some money and that's it. They expect the money to sort of rain from the heavens and it doesn't. And uh, sometimes they walk away as well. But there's a percentage of people that don't walk away and they want to have a whinge. Fine. Maybe there's a legitimate reason for them having a whinge. I understand that. Then again, maybe they have basically a negative disposition and they were going to have a whinge anyway. And it wouldn't matter how good the program was, how good the program was, how good the support and the training was, uh, they're still going to have a whinge. It's almost as if they're looking to fail. Now, this might sound a little bit harsh, but it's just based on the experiences that I've had because I've succeeded in, you know, I've succeeded marketing uh, a number of programs, not all of them, I haven't succeeded with all of them, but the, the, the important ones I've succeeded uh, really well. I've made money, I've made you know, six figure type money. And yet I've seen other people join the same program with the same basic attributes that I've brought to the table, yet they fail. And, and that's fine as long as they take responsibility for that. But then if they want to, if some of them get a bit nasty and they want to have, they want to have a winch. So, okay, that's fine. That's their prerogative, free speech and all of that. That's fine. But how do we handle it? Well, I've written a blog post on my blog, kimwillis.net, that gives you some insights into how I handle it. Uh, and, and frankly, I don't take much notice of it anymore. In fact, more often than not, I laugh. I laugh, particularly when people are making stupid, nonsensical comments without any justification, without any, without any substance. All right. So, um, if you're in a program and you you had some issues, people saying bad things about what you've been doing, don't worry about it. Um, keep a stiff upper lip. Put a smile on your face. Look, the the internet is like a toilet wall, 
and any anybody can put stuff up on the toilet wall in the middle of the night, so to speak, and not be accountable for what they say. All right, and that brings out sometimes it brings out the worst in people. So don't take much notice of people like that because, quite frankly, they're not worth taking notice of. That's it. So, but look, uh, read my article. It's on kimwillis.net. Wham, bam, thank you scam is uh, is the heading there, and the subheading is how to handle negative reviews about your company. Take a look at that. I'm sure you'll get some value out of it. This is Kim Willis. Bye for now.